The rematch between Congresswoman Nicole Maliotakis and Max Rose, whom she unseated two years ago, is shaping up to be one of the most competitive races of this election season. They are going at it to represent voters of Staten Island and in parts of Brooklyn. Both appeared together on the point with Marsha Kramer, where the gloves literally came off. She's here now, and Marsha, I'm going to ask you what they fought about, but I think I have an idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, Maurice and Dana, a better question might be, what didn't they fight about? It got heated, it got intense, especially when they fought about bail laws, crime, and gun laws, key concerns in their district. We need to have a balance. The pendulum has swung too far to the left. We need to restore the balance so we have common sense policies to keep New Yorkers safe. And th these Mr. are a series of lies that Nicole has pushed against me. It's one of the reasons why what's, I've what's said that. What's a lie? That. So, What's a lie? Wait, wait, I didn't interrupt you. Please. No, no please. please. Well, but there's, you're saying that I'm lying, I'm so the please. Only, say. I'm the only person in this race who was ever put on a uniform. I served in combat in Afghanistan. Under no circumstances will I ever stand by this lie that somehow I have supported unfair policies that push criminals onto the street. And so it went as Republican Congresswoman Nicole Maliotakis and Democratic challenger Max Rose debated bail reform, one of the hot-button issues in the contest to represent the 11th Congressional District that includes Staten Island and parts of Brooklyn. The two debated criminal justice, abortion, the economy, and immigration. The critical issue here is speeding up asylum cases as well as addressing the core roots of why we're seeing this refugee crisis in the first place. There's nothing wrong with seeing regional refugee resettlement. The right to shelter law does not provide that New York City has to provide shelter to citizens of other countries. We have tens of thousands of homeless ourselves. And right now during the struggling economy, it's certainly this burden that's placing on people trying to keep roofs over their own heads. A recent Siena College poll has Maliotakis with 49, Rose 43. I asked the candidates what should be done about the nation's border policies. Maliotakis insisting repeatedly there has to be order at the border. The mayor has declared a state of emergency, but he has not called on the president to secure the borders and reinstate the policies of President Trump remain in Mexico that was working, and you have not either. This has to be looked at as a bipartisan failure over the course of four administrations where we have not had expanded legal immigration as well as stronger borders. Common sense appears not to be common in Washington, D.C. Well, there were numerous I want to punch your lights out clashes between the two, including whether Max Rose's abortion commercial was fair to Maliotakis and whether Max Rose did participate in the defund the cop demonstrations. And there was a moment you'll see only on our streaming channel, Maliotakis accused Rose of mansplaining her position on abortion. Dana and Marie. The intensity of the body language too, Marcia. I mean, you're sitting in the middle there. You had to be a little concerned. Well, I mean, especially since Max kept moving up yeah. towards her, like oh. jumping Jumping up the time, moving at the end of his seat, jumping up towards her, and I'm like, oh yeah, this is going to be good. <laughs> What's so important here, Marsha, is this is what your your program, The Point, offers this opportunity for voters to see constituents in any type of a thing, but especially a race when we're so close to election day. Well, I know that's part of the the point, and I can tell you, give you a little hint. We got other big races coming up, uh, two candidates for each congressional race coming up, and at the right before the election, we have. Um, the governor, and we have the Republican challenger. So we're going to be huge. looking forward gonna, to it. Yeah. Referee jersey, whistle maybe next time. <laughs> yeah. Whistle. I'm going to take that, a whistle. That could work. <laughs> Thanks, Marsha. Really appreciate it. The point airs Sunday mornings, 11:30, right here on CBS2, and you can see the extras Marsha mentioned on our streaming site, CBS News New York, starting Sunday at noon.